Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy. I am your GK teacher, Ms. Farheen, and I welcome you all to your GK class. My dear students, as you know that we are on unit number 13, water, and today I will deliver its third lecture. But before starting the lecture, let's quickly recap what we did in the previous lecture. For that, you have to answer a few questions. So quickly tell me, what do you understand by natural source of water? That it provides water to all the earth, to all the living things. So that's why, uh, that's what we understand by the word source. So, uh, or it fulfills the needs of all living things. So that is how it is a source. So where does water on earth come from? It comes from rain and snow. Very nice. So my dear students, now let's quickly move forward towards page number 98 and quickly look at uh, the student learning outcome. That today, by the end of the lecture, all the students will be able to recognize the importance of recognize the importance of water resources. So my dear students, in the previous lecture, we discussed about the important uh, resources and today we will discuss their importance, that how they are, how they benefits us, uh, what are their importance, how we use them. So this is what we will discuss today. But first, let's look at the importance of water and uh, what uh, you know, Hazrat Muhammad said about saving the water. So, uh, again, ek dafa, ek sahabi jo the, uh, Nabi Pak sallallahu alayhi wa sallam sallam ke wo wuzu kar rahe the aur paani jo hai wo bohut zyada istamal kar rahe the. So, what happened? Ala, uh, Nabi Pak sallallahu alayhi wa sallam sallam ne unko po kaha ke ye kya aap paani zaya kar rahe hain? To unho ne kaha ke kya wuzu karte hai bhi paani zaya hota hai? To Nabi Pak sallallahu alayhi wa sallam sallam ne unko jawab diya tha ke agar aap dariya ke kinare pe bhi khade ho tab bhi aapko paani zaya nahi karna chahiye. So, See, water is so important. We don't while brushing, while cleaning, while washing dishes. So when it is not used quickly, uh, close the tap. So my dear students, what are different uses of water? Pani ke mukhtalif istamal kya hai? Quickly think and tell me. Very good. Now my dear students, quickly open page number 100 in your GK2 books. I hope everybody has opened the page. My dear students, in the previous lecture, we discussed that where the water comes from on earth, the main uh, source of water is snow and rain. Or ye snow or rain, jo hai, jab ye kathi ho jati hai zameen par, to ye mukhtalif resources bana deti hai paani ke, jaise ke lakes, springs, streams, rivers, seas, oceans, ये तमाम चीजें जो हैं ये रिसोर्स हैं जो कि बर्फ और बारिश की वजह से जो हैं वो जमीन पर बन जाते हैं और फिर हम इनको इस्तेमाल करते हैं। So today we will discuss about the importance of natural water resources. Importance of natural water resources. All the natural resources of water, oceans, rivers, springs, underground water etc. fulfill the water based needs of living organism. So my dear students, jitne bhi natural resources hai, jinke mene abhi aapko names batai, like oceans, seas, rivers, lakes, in sab ka kya kaam hai? Ye living organisms ki needs ko pura karte hai, whether they are animals, plants or human beings. Ye humari zaroorato ko pura karte hai, that's why they are a resource. So, ye hamari needs ko kaise pura karte hai? Let's quickly see on page number 101. Quickly turn it. Very good. So, we use river and underground water for irrigating crops. Hum faslo ko paani dene ke liye darya ka paani jo hai jo hai usko istamal karte hai. Large water bodies moderate the climate of the area. जो बहुत बड़े पानी के जरिए हैं, resources हैं, जैसे कि समंदर और oceans, ये temperature को moderate रखते हैं, ठीक है? 
इनकी वजह से बहुत ज्यादा गर्मी नहीं होती या बहुत ज्यादा सर्दी नहीं होती दे आर मॉडरेट रखते हैं ये टेम्परेचर को नॉर्मल रखते हैं ओशन एंड रिवर्स प्रोवाइड फूड लाइक फिश प्रॉन्स एक्सेट्रा 